Hi, I'm Shlomo Shana. I am a professor of neurology, pediatrics, and epidemiology at Albert Einstein College of Medicine at Montefiore Medical Center. I've also been involved with AES as a board member and I'm the incoming second vice president. I'm going to talk to you about the new guideline for treatment of convulsive status epilepticus. Guidelines are very important in providing evidence-based recommendations for treatment of common problems. The Status epilepticus is a very common problem affecting over 200,000 people a year and uh, there is a lot of new evidence-based data. The last time guidelines were promulgated was by expert consensus in 1993, which I was actually part of, and now we have an evidence base which includes the latest studies including Lampard's FTSE, the pediatric lorazepam diazepam study, and basically the message is that the first-line therapy for status epilepticus are benzodiazepines in various formulations. Uh, once those fail, there's much less evidence what's the best second-line therapy, and that's reviewed in the guideline and will hopefully be addressed by the ongoing uh, ESET uh, study. Uh, this is not the first guideline AES has been involved with. It's been involved with the Academy of Neurology jointly producing many guidelines including recently the treatment of first seizure in adults. But this is the first guideline that AES has developed as its own uh, guideline, and it will be coming out in epilepsy currents in the January issue, and we hope it will be of value to both our members and many others who treat status. Thank you so much.